Hi guys, so I attempted to dye my hair with beet juice as a natural hair dye and this is how I did it. I started off by blending some beets in my blender along with the juice that they were stored in. I then strain that in cheesecloth and a strainer to attempt to get all of the juice out. I let it sit for around an hour. And then I put coconut oil all over my forehead and the hair that I didn't want dyed just to make sure that it wouldn't permeate that. Yeah, and there's me without makeup. Scary. Use like an old makeup brush and you just brush on the beet juice just like you would hair dye. And then you just wrap up that foil and let it sit. And you can do these all over your head, you can do your whole head, or you can just pick a few. I tried to do peekaboo highlights, so that's why they're kind of in the middle of my head. And there it is, beautiful. Oof. After an hour, I took them all out, and I hopped in the shower. I washed my hair with my favorite shampoo, Tea Tree Tingle from Trader Joe's. And I followed that up with the conditioner. And here's how everything turned out. Hi guys! So you just saw me attempting to dye my hair with beet juice. Drop a beet. As you can see, I just showered and washed out the beet juice. After leaving it on for a full hour. So, my conclusion is this was a epic fail. <laughs> I mean, there's like a little teeny bit of pink here. You can't, I mean like if, you, if I didn't tell you, you probably wouldn't even notice. Um, it's very, very slightly tinted. But for the most part, I mean, I put a lot of beet juice in my hair and I let it sit for a long time. And my hair is super light, so if it was gonna take to any hair, I think it would take to mine. And it didn't. I was kind of bummed about it. I was super psyched about having pink hair, especially because I heard it's not permanent. It washes out after a few weeks. It was like, oh, how fun. If you were gonna try this really cool way to do like a temporary hair dye, I would say don't waste your time because it does take a while. You have to, as you saw, drain the beads, get the juice, blah, blah, blah. It's a pain in the butt. And I don't know, maybe if you tried this before and it worked for you, let me know, but it turned out that it didn't work so well for me. Let me know though if you guys do have other cool natural hair dyes that do work because I really want some like fun, non-permanent colors in my hair for a couple weeks, but I don't want to damage it and I don't want it to like stick around for a long time. So let me know what you guys have used in the past that have worked. Also, since I already had my camera in my bathroom and I was like dyeing my hair and showering for the day, I filmed me doing my makeup and stuff just because my camera was in there. So I can do like a get ready with me video. I've had a couple people ask me to do them. I just, I don't know, it's not really my thing. I'm not a professional makeup artist or anything. Um, I just kind of play around with it, have fun with it. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And if I get enough requests for it, I will edit and put that up. Otherwise, I'll probably just trash it. So that's all for today, guys. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook for all video updates. And just to stay on track, I post stuff on Instagram and Facebook that I don't put in video sometimes. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Do you like french fries? I like french fries. Who doesn't like french fries? French fries.